Okay, um, just ignore that girl back there. She's got nothing to do with Bendy. Um, we're working on the searchers or the ink monsters or the chids, as I like to call them. Um, I'll tell you about that a little later. But uh, I printed one guy up here, and I made him completely hollow. And the reason why I did that, and he's a little thin, um, I need to work on that a little bit. The reason why I made him hollow is I'm going to fill him with something for my next video with the ink machine. Um, and hopefully I can get that done in a couple days. But this is just a preview of the ink monster, one of the ones I have started to work on. Um, yeah, I gotta get back to some yard work and then maybe I'll get back to this later. So that's it. Um, more videos to come. And um, I am just learning this. I watched a couple tutorials which took forever and ever and those people can navigate Blender like it's nothing to them. Um, I however cannot. The best way to learn this I'm finding is just to experiment and learn it, which still takes me a long time. So I added a, an extra bone over here. I didn't do it over, maybe I, no, I didn't. I should add another bone for his wrist I think over there. Um, the best way to show you this is with the cursor on because I didn't have it on before and I want to add a bone for his finger now so I am on this node and I will hit E and when you first make it you can drag it and resize it all you want it's great um, after you click go and it wants you to look around navigate and line it up to where it's supposed to be from different angles probably need to go down there on that one but then if you want to resize it once you've got it on there by right clicking you can do that so I've here so but I'm gonna go back to here I'm gonna extrude another bone out for the other finger which is very not going to be where it needs to be so again look around at different angles and try to get it where it's supposed to be Whee! I'm still not getting it there okay it's green dude um yeah, that went too big. Now I'm in front of me. Okay, well, I guess it does shrink it sometimes when you do that. I'm putting that thing all in the wrong spot. I need to learn to navigate. There, that's better. That's the angle I want. So, eh, gotta get this mouse scroll wheel fixed. It just wants to go everywhere. Um, yeah, I could go run and find another mouse. Sure. So I added this bone, and I'm going to go ahead and add the jawbone, lower jawbone, as you watch me. So I think come all the way out to there, I guess. I don't know how far I should go. Center it. And that's about what I think would work. Um, I guess he should have one coming up here and up to the top of his mouth, right? Let's try that. Oops, I'm on the wrong thing. So don't want that one. Uh, select that one. E, extrude. Go up to his nose roughly and then come over here roughly. And maybe go a little forward. And how about uh, one more up to there? Sure, why not? I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing. But, eh, it's actually not too uh, unfun. Uh, when I first started, I was intimidated by doing this. But if you can navigate Blender, it's actually not too bad. So I think maybe it's air on the side of too many. So long as they don't get too confusing. And, uh, yeah, I'm confused. All right, so. All you blender snobs, don't make fun of me, okay? I'm not that good at it. But I'm trying, ain't I? So I get uh, points, brownie points for that, right? Trying. Trying is good, huh? Okay, I gotta remember to do that. Always remember to reapply the mesh. I think I go into object mode and select it, and then shift, select that. Now let's see if this is right. Control P. Yay! Automatic weights. Alrighty. Go into pose armature. La di da di da. Let's see. Can I pose his mouth? That's all I want to know. Can I pose his mouth? Oopsie. Let's see. I want to be on rotate, I think. Can we rotate your jaw up? Whee. That's kind of fun. How about rotate this one down? Whee. Uh, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That didn't go where I wanted it to. He's got this arm over here. Let's see. Can we bring his arm back? Let's select, I could select this, this is his forearm, and this is his shoulder. Now, I knew that would be kind of wacky with those, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. 
and then you can bring them in this way and I think its fingers are cool because if you could actually move them in and out like yeah oh, that's not supposed to move that one that's because this bone's too big I think but this one's okay all right we'll get there I'll play with it some more and uh, give it back to the guy who uh, gave me the model and let him play with it I made this video kind of for him because I'm kind of learning and I think he's learning and so maybe it'll be good for him so Ben I think is his name and nice enough to give me the model so I could play with it and I said I would try to learn to rig it okay well for my time-lapse 3d print here I don't really have anything special no special effects uh, but I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about what I have here so my son wants me to call them ink people ink persons I guess um, I kind of liked the idea of chid as I recalled a movie from the 80s a horror movie um, my horror expert Tankersley FX will know what I'm talking about when I talk of Chud. Yes, a low-budget horror film from way back when. And they were cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. Well, these guys are ink dwellers, so we're going to call them Chids. And you call them what you want. Uh, they're ugly. And I just printed one. There you have it.